Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be showing you guys my top 10 IKEA products that I absolutely love and have in my home. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lucy. I'm a mum of two boys. I have Jensen, who is very nearly five, and Jesse, who is two and a half. I am also married to my lovely husband, Jordan, and I post videos three to four times a week on fashion, beauty, travel, and lifestyle. So let's get into the video. Let's show you guys my top 10 IKEA products. Okay, so ranking in at number 10, no, I'm joking. <laughs> all of the products here are all top 10s. There's no preferences or in any specific order. They're just all of my top 10 favorite products. The Malm Dresser. Now, this is very popular, this product, isn't it? Like, loads of people have the Malm Dresser. I love it. It's a perfect dressing table. And what I love about IKEA products are that they're stylish, on trend, and very reasonably priced. So all of the products I will mention today will be linked below just for ease. So if you do wanna go and check them out, you can click below and get some more information. So this is the Malm Dresser. I believe it only comes in white and then it has a gloss finish on top and then it has this drawer here. And these are actually from the kitchen section like here, like the drawer dividers from the kitchen section. And that is what I store all of my makeup in. It needs a good old clear out. So let's shut that back up. But yeah, here is the Malm dresser with my Hollywood mirror on, which is actually from a place called Illuminated Mirrors. Next to the Malm dresser are the Alex drawers. I feel like these are the perfect combo and everyone kind of has this combo, but I absolutely love it. It's so, so brilliant for storage. Obviously the drawers are all the way down to the floor. They are full of loads of stuff, mainly like beauty, uh, makeup stuff. I need to go through it because there's probably a lot of stuff in there I never use anymore. But yes, there are the Alex drawers. This is the messiest room in the house, so please forgive any mess you will see lying around. But these are, I, I've forgotten the name of these drawers, so they will be linked below. But they are a really good chest of drawers and they also have a mirror on top here. So here is the mirror cute or what i feel like they're kind of wasted in here um but yes that is a long story because we're actually thinking about moving at some point so when we do move these will also be coming with us and uh i'll be putting them somewhere where there's going to be more use made out of them rather than just in here this mirror never opened and just with jordan's wash bag on top the next ikea product i want to talk to you about is above my head this is the Ikea hanging plants, and the plant pots actually, but I absolutely love the Ikea hanging plants. It just adds a fresh, greenery, outdoorsy element to any room. I love the contrast in this room between the pink and the green. I have these all over my house, I really do. I absolutely love the Ikea hanging plants, and they also come with some lovely pots. So this is the gold one. I have a couple of different ones all around the house, but they are so, so reasonably priced. You cannot beat an Ikea hanging plant. I then wanna to talk to you guys about this mirror. So this white mirror here, this is such a brilliant mirror. And what drew me to this mirror was the size and the price. When I bought it, I believe it was 30 pounds. I'm not sure if it, the price has gone up slightly, but 30 pounds for a full, floor length mirror, amazing. It also comes in some different colors. I think it comes in a black and maybe a kind of pine color, but it will be linked below. But yeah, such good value for money is this full length mirror. I know they also do loads of other mirrors, but this white one was the perfect one because I believe it goes with all of the other room. The next IKEA product I want to talk to you about are these beautiful grey chests of drawers. So my sons have these bunk beds, excuse the not so perfectly made beds, and look at all these teddies on the top as well. These are all from IKEA because we're doing them a jungle themed bedroom which is not finished yet. But here are the boys bunk beds which are from Argos, not IKEA, but I will link those below. Here are the beautiful chest of drawers that go perfectly with the grey of the bunk beds. I love the grey of the bunk beds and I wanted something similar here. And we found these chest of drawers in Ikea. They are really, really lovely and really deep. So as you can see, my son's sock drawer and then we have the scubs um, inside, like another essential from Ikea. I haven't included them in my top 10, but they should be um, because they're brilliant drawer dividers. So yeah, the drawers are so, so deep. 
I really need to Marie Kondo fold Jensen's pyjamas, which I have not done yet. But, and then we have an empty drawer down here, which I haven't filled yet. But I absolutely love these Ikea chest of drawers. Staying on theme of chest of drawers, here are the Malm chest of drawers. I love the Malm chest of drawers and I love them in white. I think they are brilliant. Great value for money, really, really reasonably priced. And they're kind of like my go-to chest of drawers before I discovered the grey ones because I love those now. But I, I really like the Malm still. They are really deep, a really good size. And on the top, I have like a gloss finish which I would highly recommend getting a top for your Malm chest of drawers. It makes them look a lot more kind of expensive than they are, so I would definitely recommend that because my other Malm chest of drawers didn't have that and I'll show you what happened. So here are my other Malm chest of drawers and um, I believe one of the boys spilt a drink and it took like this off, so this is peeling off. So um, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting the topper, especially in kids' rooms, because things like spilt drinks will happen and it's kind of ruined those chest of drawers. So that chest of drawers over there is going, it's temporary. It's not gonna stay there because we are wallpapering the boys' wall. But in here we have this fake plant from Ikea because I absolutely love the fake plants in Ikea all the kind of indoor greenery range is brilliant. I absolutely love it. So this is a fake bamboo plant and we've had this for a while now, nearly two years ever since we've moved in. It's still in perfect condition. They're such good value for money and they last. And it is in this pot down here, which still has a label on because it's new. Um, there it is, the Stenbar pot. I think this looks lovely in the boys' room. We're not sure where we're going to put it yet. We haven't found an area for it in here, so we might have to move it somewhere. But um, we're definitely keeping it, and I love the contrast between the grey and the pine. They have a lot of that in Ikea at the moment, uh, grey and pine contrasted furniture, and I personally love it. I'm not usually a pine fan, but I love the pine and the grey together. Keeping within the Ikea flower artificial flower theme, I picked up these lilies from there and this vase. I was looking for white flowers forever and I found these ones in Ikea. I absolutely love them. They were so reasonably priced. They look lovely and then they had the vase to match. They have so many vases, so many different flowers in Ikea so you can get whatever you want. But this was a lovely combo. It just looks really fresh and really clean. I love it. The next Ikea product I want to talk to you guys about is my gallery wall. So I created this gallery wall with the Ikea Ribber 50 times 50 photo frames. I get so many questions on my gallery wall. And um, yeah, it's the Ikea Ribber photo frames. 50 centimetres by 50. And I got the photo prints from Koo Photo World. Everything will be linked below. Um, but yeah, they're called poster prints, and yeah, I just love it. They do so many different ones, so many different colours, so many different styles. For basic kind of home photo frames, it's definitely my go-to place. The next Ikea products I want to talk about are the kids' cutlery. So I believe they've actually redone the kids' cutlery, because I got it before, and um, these forks used to break really easy, but this time round, that hasn't happened. I think they are brilliant. They come in lovely bright colours, so they're very appealing to my children. And they're just perfect. Not only are they just cute and easy to use, they are so reasonably priced. I believe a pack of cutlery is something like two pounds, maybe less. Such value for money. So even if the forks do break after a while, you can just get a new pack when you next go back. That rhymes, doesn't it? And then these bowls, which the boys use all the time for cereal, um, for chopped up fruit, anything they put in these bowls. And yeah, they're brilliant. They somehow go missing in my house. Am I the only one that these bowls go missing? I don't know how it happens, but I always need to get a new pack um, every few months. But yes, the Ikea kids cutlery, you cannot beat it. They actually use some amazing kids stuff in Ikea. The next thing I want to talk about is actually one of my favourite things about the whole Ikea experience. If you've never done this in Ikea, then you genuinely haven't lived because it's the best thing in the world. The last thing I want to talk about is the Ikea food. Oh my goodness, the meatballs in Ikea are the best meatballs in the world. It's one of my favorite foods to have ever, is the Ikea meatballs, gravy, mashed potato, 
jam what is it the jam they call it like the cranberry saucy jam oh my god honestly that meal is just to die for it's so good it tastes so good it's so reasonably priced the kids meals in ikea are so cheap and what i also love about ikea is that you will buy a main meal and if you have a baby you'll get a free baby pouch which i think is lovely and even better they have started selling these frozen so after you go through the main checkout in my ikea anyway you go through to another little section which has frozen food in and you can buy it Oh my goodness, every time I go there I literally buy frozen meatballs, even though I've already had them in the cafe. But um, I'll buy frozen meatballs to have later on in the week with the mashed potato. You can buy everything in there for the meatball meal in the frozen section. You can also buy other stuff as well, but I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm a big IKEA meatball fan, if you didn't guess. So that is the end of my top 10 IKEA products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.